hello again, everyone. Um, um, so very excited to be here that uh, my voice hasn't particularly improved. Um, so in this presentation, I wanted to talk about the cloud and uh, your organization's journey to the cloud. So in many of the presentations I saw today, you heard the various uh, companies talk about the importance of the cloud and the advantages of, uh, of moving to the cloud. There are Dockers and Kubernetes and, and containers and all of those, those areas. You know, so I wanted to kind of help define the very nebulous term of cloud and what that means from an availability standpoint and how you can leverage cloud technologies but maintain the availability that your organization requires. So let me start off with a little bit about who is Stratus. So uh, Stratus is the world leader in availability solutions. Uh, there we've been around for over 38 years. Uh, there were based in the uh, Massachusetts, um, in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, there and uh, we have a number of uh, patented technologies that uh, help businesses stay available. Um, another term I think you heard various vendors talk about is customer experience. That's the new buzzword, particularly in financial services, but really all of these mobile applications and all these new technologies, it's all about customer experience. And what I want to start off by reminding everyone is that you have no experience if your systems are down. And that negatively impacts your brand and your reputation to your customers. And it is very difficult to get it back. And what Moneta specializes in is providing the highest availability, the continuous availability, that organizations like yours require. And that's what we, they, they specialize in, and that's why we've always been partnered with them. So today, you will find Stratus in four of the five largest credit card processing organizations. You'll find us in over half of the global Fortune 100 companies. And I talk about this because although many of our competitors can put up a similar slide, what is different is for each one of these organizations, we run their most critical application. The one function that simply can't go down under any circumstances. That's what we do for these organizations. So let me start off by defining the different types of availability. So there really are three levels of availability. Standard availability, high availability, and then continuous availability. This is the peak, this is the top level of, of requirements there. And your organizations are the few that actually need this type of availability. Typically financial services, telcos, you'll see these kind of uh, requirements uh, there. And since you're here with Moneta, I know that you have that type of requirement. Most organizations, most enterprise class solutions fall right in here. And this is what they will tell you is, is as good as it gets, but that's not true. We offer continuous availability and we do it in an open systems platform, which is very, very unique. So when we talk about availability, one thing to understand, of course, is the cost. Most recent survey done for a standard enterprise, the cost of downtime is just over a quarter million dollars uh, an hour there. For financial services and telco institutions, that cost is many times per minute. It's that expensive. Stratus is the insurance policy to make sure that doesn't happen. So when you begin to go into cloud, the first thing you want to understand are there are different types of cloud. Cloud is a very nebulous term that means everything. So let me begin to define a little bit about what cloud really is on an enterprise level. So there are public cloud solutions and there are private cloud solutions. Public cloud are things like your Amazon and your Microsoft Azure services um, there. And that is where your systems, your data and application are hosted by other uh, providers there. You actually don't know where your data and where your systems are. They are commodity-based. They're all about large-scale, low-cost, low-complexity implementations. 
private cloud is using cloud technologies, but now it's in your control. Now, it may not necessarily be hosted in your data center, or maybe it can, there, but it's in your control. It's exclusively for your usage uh, there. It's not a shared, a shared resource or a shared technology. And when you look at public cloud, you have to understand SLAs, or service level agreements, um, there, and understand what the risks are, and you know, whether you can mitigate or can accept those type of risks within your organization. The, the temptation of public cloud is the low cost because they use such large scale and they, they are able to leverage these, these large data centers. They put your data wherever and your application, wherever it can squeeze in, uh, their performance may or may not be there. They, um, they, can, they can achieve these very, very low costs. And that's the temptation of public cloud. Private cloud, again, is dedicated uh, resources there. So if there is any one message that I definitely want everyone to walk away with tonight, it is from the insurance company here that talks about the fact that there are many, many risks to public clouds and clouds in general, and you have to understand them. If you're going to go into this journey, you need to do it eyes wide open. You need to know what is happening and what your risks are. So um, here I'm talking a little bit about some, some uh, outages. So this is in the public cloud space. So Amazon had an outage um, about a year ago. And what actually happened was somebody doing maintenance on a billing platform inadvertently executed the wrong command and shut down more than, I think it's about 80% of the world's storage and shut down all the customers. They did it across the availability zones and they took everything down. The reason this is important is this is a risk that most organizations wouldn't think of. This is somebody doing maintenance in a building platform that took the whole system worldwide down. No matter how many availability zones you have, which are designed uh, as a high availability solution from Amazon, you went down. And there was nothing you could, you could do about it. Uh, they were down for hours, which in, in financial services is simply not an acceptable, acceptable risk. Then, about a month later, Microsoft had exactly the same thing uh, there. It took them down for, for multiple hours. They lost most of their storage subsystems, is what actually happened. Another risk to understand about public cloud is, and this is something that everyone here wants to understand, that if your needs are continuous availability, if you're running a financial application, a switch, or other complex application with lots of regulations and lots of requirements, you are not the target customer for those, uh, for those organizations. You are not who they want. Now, they'll take your money and they'll start off as an inexpensive solution. But within a year, they'll discover you're expensive. Your requirements, your availability requirements, you're a difficult customer. So they have one of two options that absolutely will happen. They'll either raise your price and make it so expensive that you wish you had never gone heard of the cloud, or they'll send you a letter and say, hey, sorry it didn't work out. You have 90 days to get off our platform. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's a risk. That's a risk you have to look at when you're looking at public cloud. So this, I apologize, it's kind of small, but this is a quick summary of the major public cloud platforms and what their SLA goals are. They don't actually commit to any of these things. Why? Because they did not achieve any of these SLAs this year, or last year, or the year before, or the year before. That's a fact. As a hardware vendor, if I came into your organization and offered these kind of availability, you'd laugh me out of your office. It's cheap, but there's a cost. Now, I'm not saying there's no place for public cloud. There absolutely is. There are huge cost savings running non-critical enterprise-type applications. Now, for every organization, that's different. Many times it's email or Office 365 or those type of applications you can definitely do. Development, software development, is a great place to do it, especially with container technology, because containers are common. So when you develop in a Docker in, in a... Uh, in an, uh, 
an Amazon or a Microsoft public cloud, that container will move right over and run exactly the same way on a Stratus FT switch. So you can save money there. That, that's an appropriate cost savings. But running production traffic in a public cloud is an enormous, enormous risk. If the companies do not achieve these very weak SLA goals, their penalty is only a tiny bit. They have 10% of that month's billing. 30% if you had multiple availability zones, which still go down all the time there. So you really have to look at, is the risk worth the cost savings? And I can answer that, it isn't. So, these are the 10 largest uh, cloud outages for 2018 so far. And actually, I have two new ones that I haven't even had a chance to update this, this chart with. Both Microsoft and Amazon suffered multiple hour outages uh, just in the last 30 to 45 days. Again, general purpose applications, public cloud works. It's all about cost savings. But for critical applications, that cost of downtime does not justify the cost savings. So I've talked about the risk of public cloud. Now let's talk about private cloud and how can Stratus help with these availability requirements. Now again, time is money. Downtime is loss of money. So Stratus has introduced our FT switch converged platform, cloud platform. There. It's pre-configured, it runs uh, OpenShift uh, from Red Hat, now IBM, uh, there. And so we're leveraging Docker's and Kubernetes and all of those state-of-the-art cloud technologies, but we're doing it on a continuously available platform uh, there. And so you get the advantage of cloud deployment and the advantages that NCR was talking about with cloud, but you get it on a platform that runs all the time continuously. And it's done through the hardware. No complex software uh, availability schemes uh, that are there. It's all seamless because the hand hardware handles it. And it does it in real time. And another important distinction. So what we've done is we've put everything you need together in one solution. So out of the box, it's ready to run. The network, the storage, the compute is all in there, all set up and pre-configured, ready for authentic or other applications that you would want to run. So how does Stratus do the fault tolerance? What we do, and this is a patented technology that only Stratus has, is we take the two halves of our server, or we call them crews, there, and we lockstep them together, meaning they are literally running the same memory instruction at the same time. There. So they're doing precisely the same thing. If one has a failure, the other does not restart like a high availability solution. It's already doing the same function. It just continues to run. That's why there's no downtime. There's no loss of in-flight or in-memory transactions, which is, which is huge, especially when you're scaling with clouds. When you start scaling horizontally with containers, one server going down can have a massive impact to transactions because thousands of containers would be running on that single hardware platform there. So the availability requirements in the cloud world actually get higher, not lower. It's a common misconception. So with our continuous availability, everything operates as one. To the system, it looks like one. And, and I can cut your licensing costs, software costs in half right here, it licenses one server. Whereas in a high availability solution, you have to buy two separate licenses. With FT Server, you do not. So I just cut your software cost in half. There, and I did it delivering better availability than any other product in an open system platform. The other unique thing is, unlike proprietary platforms, we run all open systems. It's not a proprietary version of Red Hat Linux. It's the same one that you, that you get uh, there. There's no special cost, there's no extra hidden fees, none of that there. Windows, VMware, Linux, it's all the standard off-the-shelf software. Your applications, such as Authentic, run unmodified and we instantly deliver continuous availability. There's no other platform that can do that. 
So in a quick glance, this is the empty switch. Think of it as a cloud in a box. Instantly, your organization can drop this in. You have all these cloud technologies. You can run them authentic on the, uh, on the empty switch. It's all ready to go, pre-configured. We have experts in Dockers, in OpenShift, in Kubernetes, setting up the SDNs, the software-defined networks, so that everything flows appropriately, so that you leverage the scalability of the cloud in the platform. That's all done, done for you. So the headaches are taken out. It's ready for business. business. And that's a big advantage that Stratus brings. Stratus has a number of unique software applications, and I'm not going to go through all of them, that assist authentic, because we do, we run authentic better than any other company. In fact, the largest authentic customer in the world runs and depends on Stratus. And that for that customer, last year, we delivered better than eight nines of availability, so less than 15 seconds of downtime worldwide. They process over 10 billion transactions with Stratus. That are, that's why we're so successful. And we have a number of special applications that run for authentic. All of the ATR, but, uh, so, with FT Switch in the cloud, you can leverage our edge solutions. You can leverage the cloud, whether it's analytics, which run just fine in public because it's not a mission critical application, but for processing for other server applications that are critical. And your business defines what is critical. I have customers that run email servers on Stratus. There, yeah, in fact, the United States House of Representatives runs their email system on Stratus. Why? Because for them, they cannot have that email system go down. In Colombia, their uh, Department of Justice runs their email systems on Stratus. Why? Because if their email system goes down, it affects the cases going through the courts. So every customer defines what's critical to them and where Stratus fits within the organization. But what we do is deliver open systems that maintain availability unlike any other product in the market. And with that, are there any questions? So basically, you are proposing that the cloud is fine for non-critical applications, but the technology of the cloud is fine, but we can leverage that technology using the FT switch uh, that's, that's exactly correct. Uh, they are, so cloud technologies like containers or dockers, uh, they are, 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 are terrific technologies. Uh, they, are, they allow you to do development up in the, on the cloud because that's not critical. But then you simply move it, it transfers right over. And this is when IBM was talking about hybrid cloud, and that this is the future that they saw, that's exactly what they're talking about. Public and private clouds working together to solve business needs. And, and that's, that's what FT Switch does. We are the private cloud. Whether it's hosted in your data center or someone else's, they are, it still delivers that, that continuous availability. Great.